What if everything you've been told about the last days is wrong? And what if what you think you know about the return of the Messiah is completely different from what's actually going to happen? On today's program, we're going to set the record straight about the end times, and we're going to share with you truth that you need to know to be prepared. Can God change your life in the next 30 minutes? I believe you're watching right now because God has something special for you. Join me for Jewish Voice and you'll discover how Bible prophecy is coming to pass before our very eyes and why you need to stand with Israel. You can play a role in God's end time plan. Find out how on Jewish Voice. Shalom and welcome to Jewish Voice and thank you for joining me today. I'm Jonathan Burnus. Today my co-host Ezra Benjamin and I are going to share a perspective of the last days that you may have never even heard before or considered. Ezra, there's so much speculation about the end times, it's easy to get lost in all of the noise. And particularly now with what we've been through, a international pandemic, we've been through the rise of social, political, uh, economic unrest, all of these things, uh, I think have hit us really, really hard. That's right. And we don't know when the end is in sight. Sure, wars and rumors of wars to name something else. You know, we're dealing with hostile terrorist cell takeovers of entire nations. And in a way, Jonathan, to put it in perspective, almost every generation in history has thought maybe this is the end, maybe Jesus is coming back in our days. But yet I think there's some telltale things we can point to according to the scriptures that tell us we're certainly uh, approaching the last days if we're not in them right now. In, indeed, and let me just set, set the, the uh, stage for this and talk about some knots, some not necessarily last days events. Mm -hmm. uh, one is the pandemic. There's a lot of people that have written to mm -hmm. us and asked, is this, has this pandemic sure. been a sign of the end? Well, a sign, a a growing in turmoil, yes, but keep in mind that throughout history there's been terrible plagues that have devastated uh, a gr much greater percentage of the world. You have the sure. bubonic plague, even the Spanish influenza was an upheaval uh, worldwide. More people died in the Spanish influenza beginning in 1918 than the entire war, That's World right. War I. That's right. Entire World War. So, uh, is it a specific sign of the last days? No, but there's a, a, what the Bible calls birth pangs that are happening, mm -hmm. the intensity mm -hmm. of upheaval and distress and division and just outright anger and hostility is growing, and sure. that, that's important to point out. Sure, another example I'm thinking of, Jonathan, is you know we see, it seems, almost uh, every season in the news, we hear about rockets from Gaza flying into Israel, and every time we say, could this be the end? Well, unfortunately, because of the lack of peace in the Middle East until Jesus, the Prince of Peace, returns, you know, it won't be the, it's not the first time rockets have flown from Gaza, and it won't be the last time. So we can say, you know, every time a war breaks out between the, the Palestinian territories and, and uh, the main uh, land area of Israel, is it the end? No, but it certainly is steps in a certain direction. And I think that's what we really want to unpack today is last day's events, end time prophecy specifically related to Israel and the Jewish people, and even more specifically, the city of Jerusalem. Prophecies you may have skimmed over and said, ah, oh, that's for the Jewish people, that's for another time, but we're seeing those birth pangs right now, Jonathan. We are. I, I just, I just want to be clear that every generation, almost every generation, has seen upheaval and turmoil. Right. Uh, World War II was a horrific event, the sure. Holocaust. Uh, can you imagine the six million Jews who died? Certainly thought it was the end of the world. That's right. And Jonathan, you know, we've talked about this before, but it really, it strikes me to mention again, uh, many people say, well, because of the Holocaust, this, the modern state of Israel was born, almost like a consolation prize, right, to the Jewish people awarded by the UN because of the death of millions of Jews. I think it's actually the other way around. I think in the fullness of the right time, according to God's plan to re, to, to, for a nation to be reborn in a day, according to the scriptures, the enemy knew the state of Israel was about to be reborn, and so again, he tried to jump in and annihilate the Jewish well, people. Well, I couldn't agree more. You see this pattern, by the way, in right. scripture. So 
let's look at some of the ma major events mm -hmm. that took place in the history of the children of Israel. Right. So there's slaves in Egypt. Uh, God is getting ready to raise up a redeemer. And what does Pharaoh do? A type of antichrist, he kills all the, all the males. Right. Uh, that is demonic. Sure. There's no other explanation for it. It is spiritual. Pharaoh may be the figurehead, but it's a demonic effort to keep the redeemer from coming. Mm -hmm. You see, see the same thing happening again when there's a sense that the Messiah is ready to come. There's this prophetic uh, expectation in the air. What happens? Herod finds out where the Messiah is to be born according to Bible prophecy, yeah. learns from the sages of Israel, it's Bethlehem and sends his armies to kill all males under two years Another of age. Another decree, something great's about to happen for Israel, let's destroy the Jewish people. Exactly. And we see it again throughout history. And I think with the rebirth of the modern state of Israel and even looking ahead to what we understand of the last days, Jonathan, from Zechariah, from Isaiah, Jeremiah, Ezekiel, from John's own account of the last days in the book of Revelation, we understand from the end, and Paul, to add to the number, Paul in Romans 11 is very clear that there's coming a day when all Israel will be saved. And so the enemy knows this. He knows God's truth and he knows the scriptures. He's going to do whatever he can to try to annihilate the Jewish people and wipe Israel off the map before God brings yeah, that deliverance and, and, and salvation. And he knows that Israel has to be restored as a nation because right. the people of Israel in the land of Israel need to cry out, blessed is you comes in the name of the Lord. And so the enemy's effort to stop that from happening is the Holocaust, is the effort to destroy the Jewish people from the face of the earth. That's right. Good news, he fails. Yeah. Because God said, as long as the sun shines by day and the moon and stars shine by night, I will preserve the Jewish people as a people before me. Imagine this, Ezra, scattered to the nations, no homeland, no common language, because Hebrew was a prayer language. Right. It wasn't the common language, and they're... they're uh, they're just migrating. They're, they're wandering from nation to nation as they're kicked out, but they survive this, this 2,000 year period of exile and finally are brought back. Jonathan, the regathering of the outcasts or the exiles of Israel is just one of the signs that were in the end times specifically related to Israel, the people of Israel and the land of Israel. Uh, and Jewish people wherever we've been scattered throughout the world. And we're excited to re-release an updated version of uh, one, of, one of my favorites of your books, A Rabbi Looks at the Last Days. We don't want you to be ignorant about what God's doing in these end times and what it has to do with you and with Israel and the Jewish people. Yeah, I, I thought we needed to re-release this. Uh, maybe some of you that have watched the program for a long time have read this. Uh, there's a lot going on right now, a yeah. lot going on. And there's some very specific things that are happening that were foretold hundreds of years ago through the prophets. They're coming to pass now. And many Christians are totally unaware that these prophecies exist, so they're not paying attention. We're told to pay attention. We're told to be sober. We're told to be alert. We're told to be wise by understanding the times we live in. And there's things that we need to do as well. And so that's why I want to get this book into your hands. A rabbi looks at the last days. It'll give you a new paradigm for understanding the times we live in. It'll open your eyes to see new things and you'll rejoice. That's a great uh, comfort to know that God is fulfilling his word. But more importantly, what you need to do to respond. We want to sow this into your life. I want to encourage you to become a giver, a regular giver of Jewish to Jewish voice. This month, we're focusing on our medical clinics because we're providing medical, dental, and eye care and prescriptions that people, Jewish people in Ethiopia and Zimbabwe uh, could not get without our provision. That's through right. Through you. You helped to make that possible. And I want to encourage you to become a monthly partner. I think we have some gifts for Shalom partners. We do. We have a shofar to get into your hands, a reminder that God is sounding the alarm to believers worldwide to wake up to the times and seasons we live in, and also sounding a horn to wake up the awareness of the Jewish people that he has sent a Messiah, and his name is Yeshua. His name is Jesus. So, so please call, stand log with us. on to the site, get the book, A Rabbi Looks at the Last Days, become a Shalom partner, get the shofar. You can display it on your, on your mantelpiece as a reminder that you are blessing the Jewish people through your giving, and thank you for your partnership. We need your help. Here's how to get involved.
The Bible describes the last days as being chaotic and a fearful time to be alive. But God does have a strategy for those who believe in Him. The real question is, will you be included in God's end time plan? Jonathan's book, A Rabbi Looks at the Last Days, offers a unique perspective on the end times from the viewpoint of a messianic believer and scholar. As you support Jewish Voice Outreaches with a one-time gift of $40, you'll receive this hardcover edition of the book as well as this companion two-CD teaching, The Role of Israel in Last Days Prophecy. These two profound teachings will break down God's plan for both Jew and Gentile as we await the ultimate showdown between good and evil. If you prefer, you can obtain this teaching as a digital download. Call or go online now to receive these outstanding resources as you support Jewish Voice Ministries with a one-time gift today of $40 or more. Jonathan is encouraging you to join him as a new monthly Shalom partner. Your continued monthly gifts are vital in providing the ongoing support so desperately needed to keep Jewish Voice Outreaches touching the lives of so many people in need. As you make an ongoing commitment and become a Shalom partner with a gift of just $30 today, we'll also include this authentic ram's horn shofar. It's a beautiful reminder that God will sound the trumpet upon his triumphant return. A wooden stand is included for displaying the shofar in your home or office. Make sure to request the last day's package as you support Jewish Voice Outreaches with an ongoing gift of just $30 a month. Your gift can change a life, providing the opportunity to not only meet their physical needs, but also the chance to share the love of Jesus in a very real and personal way. Every time I'm here and I see the abject poverty, I'm reminded that we live in a fallen world, a world where there's still pain, where there's still suffering, where there's still sickness and disease. That day will end when the Messiah returns, but until that time, we have been called to make a difference, to repair the world, to kun olam, as it says in Hebrew, one life at a time. That's what we're doing here. The need seems endless. It's so great, but one by one, we're making a difference. That's how it works. Please respond now by calling the 800 number on the screen and letting our representative know what level of giving you would like to participate in. If you prefer, you can always choose to give securely online at jewishvoice.tv or you can simply text JVMI to 474747. You can also donate by mailing your gift to the address on the screen. Thank you for your generous support of Jewish Voice and for making a difference for so many through your sacrifice. Now, let's rejoin Jonathan and Ezra. Thank you for making our medical outreaches possible through your giving. Eye care, dental care, uh, prescription medication that they couldn't obtain otherwise is, is being received by grateful Jewish people and their neighbors because of you. So thank you, and thank you especially to our Shalom partners, our monthly partners. Your ongoing support to this ministry is vital in its transforming lives. Ultimately, people don't care what you know until they know that you care, and when they find out through our medical clinics, then they hear the gospel and respond. Uh, it, it works, Ezra. It does. Hundreds of, uh, of uh, congregations now, almost Amen. 200. Almost 200 congregations, Ethiopia, Zimbabwe, and beyond of scattered Jewish communities being regathered to the Lord before one day he regathers them to the land of Israel itself. Jonathan, we're talking about the last days and specifically signs of the end times or the last days preceding the return of Jesus that relate specifically to Israel and the Jewish people. You know, Zechariah, I think this verse more and more often these days. Zechariah says that in the last days, in the end times, all the nations of the world will be gathered together against Jerusalem. And that's physically the city of Jerusalem, but it's also conceptually the, the Jewish people in Jerusalem and the surrounding area. Jonathan, I think one of the signs of the last days is, is, a, is a dramatic increase in anti-Semitism and attacks against Jewish people worldwide. Well, how about this one? Uh, the United Nations has actually issued more sanctions against Israel than, than all of the other nations combined. 
The Amazing. UN is constantly putting pressure on Israel. Israel's constantly being pressured to give away land that makes it untenable to defend themselves. Now, yes, God is preserving the Jewish people, but the right. rise of anti-Semitism, the rise of hatred against, against Israel and against the Jewish people in the, in the nations of the world is unprecedented. It's higher than any time since the Holocaust. That's right, and those of you who stand with Israel and the Jewish people may be watching the news and watching the escalated intensity of attacks against Israel from all over the Middle East, from Iran, who's pledged to drive uh, the enemy, they call it, the Jewish state, into the heart of the Mediterranean Sea. And you may be saying, how on earth could this happen? Why would God let this happen? And yet we see in the scriptures, Jonathan, it has to happen. Yeah, because before there, there can be deliverance for the take, Jewish people. And we better take their claim seriously. If, right. what they say when we develop a nuclear weapon, we will launch it against Israel. Why would we doubt that? Right. It's right. absolutely true. And sadly, our policy in America is, to, is, is playing right into that hmm. and letting them continue at a rapid pace to develop a nuclear weapon. Israel can't let that happen. We can't let that happen. Amen. And so as we head toward the return of Yeshua, we should expect, according to the scriptures, to see Satan ramp up and do everything he can to, to stop, to discourage, to persecute, and ultimately to try to annihilate the Jewish people. But it's not going to happen. Well, we know Israel will cry out, blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. They will, but also we're watchmen on the walls. That's we're right. the ones that are crying out and giving God no rest until he makes Jerusalem a praise in all the earth. Amen. So we have a responsibility here. You have a responsibility. Amen. And Jonathan, let's talk about some good news. Believe it or not, maybe you haven't heard it taught, there's good news ahead as well as difficult news as we head toward the last days. And one of those pieces of good news is that Paul makes it very clear in an increasing way, we're gonna see Jewish people in numbers that haven't been seen in history coming to faith, responding to the proclamation of the good yeah, news of it's Yeshua. it's happening already. The, 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 this preconceived idea that Jewish people will reject the gospel, so why share with them, hmm. is it may, might have been true for times past. 40 years ago, that was true when I became a believer. It's not the same now. I'm meeting Jewish people all over the country, all over America and in Israel that have had supernatural encounters with the Lord or they're wide open to hearing more. They are searching and we have the answer. That's right, and Jonathan, I, we should just challenge really quickly, if you've heard it taught that the Jewish people have their own way to God, or that one day God will work it all out for the Jewish people, we don't have to worry about that. It's not scriptural, yeah. it's wrong teaching. Right. The day of it's salvation is today. Wrong teaching. Paul makes it very clear, everywhere he went to proclaim the gospel, he went to the synagogue first. Why? Romans 1, because the gospel is the power of God unto salvation for all who believe, first for the Jew and also to the nation. Yeah, and the salvation of the Jewish people people in greater numbers ultimately is the catalyst catalyst that brings life from the dead. Right. That's in Romans 11, 15, read it for yourself. Mm -hmm. Life from the dead. So what happens to the Jewish people, mm -hmm. talking about the Jewish people inside of Israel and outside of Israel, including America, actually has a direct effect on your family, on your neighborhood, on your state on your country, on your nation, Amen. and on the world. Amen, and speaking of countries and nations, more end times good news. Last point we wanna make sure to cover today, Jonathan, is this idea uh, from Matthew 24, verse 14, where Yeshua makes it clear that the gospel will be preached to all nations, and the word there is ethnos, all people groups on the face of the earth, and then the end will come. And we're seeing that happen today. Yeah, we're on track for that just with the translations of the Bible into right. almost every known language. That's right. Uh, that, that's underway, and that's a good thing. And it's a very specific sign of the end. And Jesus says in Matthew 24, 14, mm -hmm. that uh, the gospel must be preached to every ethnos, as right. you quoted, right. and then the end will come. You wanna talk about the end times, the last days, you have to talk about the proclamation of the gospel. Ezra, here's the, at, at its essence the question. Uh, does the world get darker and darker or brighter and brighter before right. the Messiah returns? Right. And the answer is both simultaneously happen. The world gets darker, God's people get gr uh, brighter, more empowered. That's right. Uh, we, d we just have to be pressing on. That's right. Uh, which is what we do about this. How do we deal with the, gr the escalation of violence and, mm -hmm. and uh, wars and rumors of wars mm -hmm. and natural disasters that all play into a scenario that I believe is what the last days will look like or is looking like. Right. We pray, we get close to the heart of God, 
we intercede, we read the Word of God, which is a lamp to our feet, mm -hmm. and we understand that as the Jewish people respond to the gospel, God releases His power, His light, His life, life from the dead. Jonathan, what good news, right? When we talk about the last days, sometimes we can lump it all in as gloom and doom, bad news, but there's good news to be understood, and there's good news, the news of Jesus to be proclaimed. You talk about that in, in our, our updated version of A Rabbi Looks at the Last Days, one of my favorite books that you've written. We don't want you to be ignorant of the days that we're in and the things that must come to pass between now and the return of Jesus. Get this book into yeah, your hands. I thought we needed to update this and get the message out again. Right. And I really want to get it into your hands. If you were to ask the Apostle Paul, what's the most important thing that I need to know and do something about? He's, he's already given us the answer in Romans 9. I would give up my eternity for my own people, the people of Israel, so they might be saved. And I believe that the reason he says that is what he writes in the following chapters in Romans 10 and 11, that ultimately the salvation of the Jewish people will bring about the salvation of the nations. And he's, he was the apostle to the Gentiles. And so he was communicating, I believe, God's heart for the nations, for the world by saying, it, get, get it through the Jewish people the Jew first and also to the nations. And I talk about that a lot in the book. A rabbi looks at the last days. It's a different perspective on the last days than you may have ever heard before. We wanna sow it into your life mm -hmm. as you help us to sow medicine, to sow dental care, eye care, uh, prescription drugs into uh, the lives of people, Jewish people and their neighbors that can't afford it any other way, that don't have the access to medicines without your help. And that's why I wanna encourage you, invite you, implore you, become a Shalom partner, partner, a monthly partner with this ministry because this is an ongoing concern from giving them dental care and medical care and their basic needs all the way to discipleship. That's right, Jonathan. We believe in a day, according to the scriptures, when God will regather all the outcasts of Israel back to the land of Israel, but today, they live scattered among the nations and they have very practical needs, things we wouldn't even think of. We'd go get a, an, a, a tooth fixed far be, way before it becomes abscessed and yet people are dying of things as simple as an infected tooth. You have the ability to partner with us to see those things resolved. So call now, log on right now. We'll send you a shofar too as a reminder that you are blessing the Jewish people through this ministry. The Bible describes the last days as being chaotic and a fearful time to be alive. But God does have a strategy for those who believe in Him. The real question is, will you be included in God's end time plan? Jonathan's book, A Rabbi Looks at the Last Days, offers a unique perspective on the end times from the viewpoint of a messianic believer and scholar. As you support Jewish voice outreaches with a one-time gift of $40, You'll receive this hardcover edition of the book, as well as this companion two CD teaching, The Role of Israel in Last Days Prophecy. These two profound teachings will break down God's plan for both Jew and Gentile as we await the ultimate showdown between good and evil. If you prefer, you can obtain this teaching as a digital download. Call or go online now to receive these outstanding resources as you support Jewish Voice Ministries with a one-time gift today of $40 or more. Jonathan is encouraging you to join him as a new monthly Shalom partner. Your continued monthly gifts are vital in providing the ongoing support so desperately needed to keep Jewish Voice outreaches touching the lives of so many people in need. As you make an ongoing commitment and become a Shalom partner, with a gift of just $30 today. We'll also include this authentic ram's horn shofar. It's a beautiful reminder that God will sound the trumpet upon his triumphant return. A wooden stand is included for displaying the shofar in your home or office. Make sure to request the last day's package as you support Jewish voice outreaches with an ongoing gift of just $30 a month. Your gift can change a life providing the opportunity to not only meet their physical needs, but also the chance to share the love of Jesus in a very real and personal way. Every time I'm here and I see the abject poverty, I'm reminded that we live in a fallen world. 
a world where there's still pain, where there's still suffering, where there's still sickness and disease. That day will end when the Messiah returns. But until that time, we have been called to make a difference, to repair the world, to kun olam, as it says in Hebrew, one life at a time. That's what we're doing here. The need seems endless. It's so great. But one by one, we're making a difference. That's how it works. Please respond now by calling the 800 number on the screen and letting our representative know what level of giving you would like to participate in. If you prefer, you can always choose to give securely online at jewishvoice.tv or you can simply text JVMI to 474747. You can also donate by mailing your gift to the address on the screen. Thank you for your generous support of Jewish Voice and for making a difference for so many through your sacrifice. Now, let's rejoin Jonathan and Ezra. My favorite time of the program is praying for, for you because God answers prayer. I believe that. Ezra, yes. I know you believe that. We sure two do. two or three agree on earth is touching anything, it shall be done. We are here for you. I want you to know that. And we believe in a God who answers prayer. So let's join together right now. I know that you've sent us your needs. And in the name of Yeshua, in Jesus' name, through faith in his name, we speak life to those who are ill. The doctor's report has been it's terminal. The report of the Lord is by his stripes, you are healed. We speak to family members. We speak to those with cancer. We speak to those with uncurable diseases, incurable you, diseases, Lord. and we say, be healed in the name of Yeshua. Father, thank you for bringing hope where there's been none. Thank you for bringing faith where there's been discouragement and despair. Thank you, Lord, for a new Amen. spirit of victory. Thank you for reuniting families. Thank you for that spirit of isolation disappearing and being replaced with a sense of peace and Amen. God's love in Jesus' name in the name of Yeshua. Amen. Hey, uh, if you'd like more information about our ministry, I want to encourage you to go to our website. It's jewishvoice.tv. And you can actually submit your prayer requests right to us on the website. We have a dedicated group of prayer warriors here at Jewish Voice that will read your prayers and pray for you by name in faith because we believe in the power of prayer. We care about you, but most importantly, we know that God cares about you. So log on to our website. And as we close the program, I would remind you with Ezra as we do every week, Psalm 122.6. That's how we finish our program, to remind you to pray for the peace of Jerusalem. And it, there's even a promise, may they prosper who love thee. So pray for Israel, pray for the Jewish people in your life this week. And until next time, this is Jonathan Burnus and Ezra Benjamin saying shalom and God bless you.